That's not good. I've only got the shot. Ooh, how many's there? What? Some death drops, but that's about it. Jesus. The freak. <laughs> that an earthquake? I sure Jeez, I hope so. Uh, really? So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome to part 5 of Resident Evil 2. Let's get it. Is he already moving? Are you- I've literally- I've done the intro. Yeah, okay, he's already moving. What the freak is he doing? I'm literally too nervous. Hold up, okay, I gotta wait. He's like here, I think. He might be upstairs. I don't know. I don't care. Mr. X, you're a bad guy. Okay, let's finish this intro and just get playing. So in the last episode, we kind of discovered that there's a character called Mr. X now roaming the police establishment with us. There's liquors everywhere. There's like new zombies busting through windows and such. Even though the obstacles in our way right now do seem fairly colossal, quite literally with Mr. X's appearance, if you haven't seen him, I still think we're going to have a good time with this, okay? And the only way to get started with this is to literally get started. Obviously. Before we do that though, guys, we are doing this thing where, you know, if the previous episode gets enough lives, okay, we continue the series day after day. So like, same rule applies for this one. Okay, so before we actually get started with this, there's a few things I want to do. We obtained the muzzle break for the Matilda, so a custom part for the Matilda that reduces recoil and muzzle rise by redirecting propellant gas up and away from the barrel. Okay, so we can combine that with this one here. There you go. Dude, this gun is becoming a tank right now. Hold up. So, take this thing out. I mean, I wish I could shoot it, but it, it's just, wow, well, doing that. Down the line, we'll definitely give that some shots with the ammo, literally. For now as well, we've got the Lightning Hawk with seven loaded in the barrel. We may as well store the remaining one bullet. And I think for now, we may as well keep everything else on our person. Yeah, I think so. Okay, just before we move as well, I want to be strategic. There's a hand grenade still in the records room. Don't think we particularly need that at the moment. But other than that, the rest of the place has been completely looted. Like, seriously, we've gone ham. Floor 2F as well, looking as bare as my butt cheeks. Guys, there is a reason, okay? You only see up to here with the camera, okay? On the upper floor as well, the west storage room, there's another one of the wooden boards, and then two of the blue herbs over toward the right-hand side. Okay, before we do anything else, I might use the uh, high-grade gunpowder with the uh, gunpowder regular, because I kind of do like the shotties over the magnum for some reason. I've not actually had the chance to use the magnum on anything other than Mr. X, but I don't know, man. I just like landing the shots with a shotty anyway, so... Uh, okay, and with everything done... I say it's time to move. Wait, first of all, let's try and establish whereabouts Mr. X is. Somewhere up above us, I think. Ironically, at this time, he stops walking completely. Okay. So let's get back out of here. Don't hear him anywhere nearby, at least on the ground floor. So I'm going to take a shortcut, I think, through the west office. We need to go over to the library. So uh, I think by doing it this method, it will be the quickest. And why are you twitching? Hold up, listen. Wait, 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 wait. Back up, back up, back up, back up. If he's coming through this way, I can't afford to do this. So wait. It's hard to know. The music's kicking in. Please no, Mr. X. Give me a chance. Right. Okay, yeah, he's coming through. <laughs> Thank God, okay, back to the dark room. Fun episode ahead, guys. Fun, uh, you know, fun episode ahead, yeah. How does he know of our location, though, every single time, like, off the bat? That's what I'm also starting to think. Whoa. Don't you be coming in. Okay. So he's going back. Or is he going upstairs? No. Peek, you know. Take a little look here. Okay, yep, if I go out, I'm dead, basically. Sweet. You know, I actually feel like Mr. X knows of our location all the time. I'm almost starting to debate if maybe taking him down with the Magnum is going to be the best bet. It's almost like a timer. I don't want to waste the ammo, though. I've got, like, eight shots for that thing, and that is very, very powerful. <sighs> These are the dilemmas you've got to try and go through, guys. It's difficult. Okay. Sounds like he's walking along the wall. He's literally just lingering around the outside. Like, if you want to come in, just get this done. Why are these guys scared of a dark room anyway? What's their problem? I'm actually starting this episode completely trapped, which I can do. I feel like what's going to have to happen then is the moment we get like a chance to get out, I just got to run for this other room, but I can't. Now he's going the exact way I want to go. Bro, you're about to get popped, I'm just saying. Okay, he's this way here. Let me see. I've literally just left the place. If he knows where we Shut up, man. Just wait. I think he knows where we are. Is he above? I just don't want to go running in like a direction and then encounter him, you know? Gosh, this sucks. I'm like standing still. Okay, I'm gonna move. Maybe running is the problem. It's almost like a liquor, but more advanced with the hearing. I'm not sure. Wish I could kind of find like some documentation on him so I could start to understand who he is and how he works. You know, that sort of thing. Okay. I am just walking this time and I haven't heard him. This could be a better solution. Perhaps it is a case if he just hears when we run. All right. All nice and quiet, so we can get this done. Also, the statue tunnel thing. I have vague memories of the being like a use for a crank or something there, so I'll check that one out soon. But the library. Let's get this done. As said before, no running, okay? Snail's pace. If we don't encounter Mr. X, better than running. Just those things still swinging. I don't know how they're getting the uh, velocity, but I don't care. So, use the crank for this. Let's go. All right. Now we can move that thing. 
That was kind of loud. I hope Mr. X didn't hear that. Take a look at the situation then. So we just want to move all of these, I think, towards the right-hand side. Build a makeshift staircase here. I mean, thank God they had like a fortification ready for the floorboards to fall through so you can still get over there. Whatever, look, their choice. Move this last sucker over. And then that will be all of them, I think. Just take a look up. Come on. Oh, do we not need it? Uh all right, there we go. Yeah, this was a room I tried to access in episode one. Floorboards fell through, scared the crap out of me, but now we're here. I don't hear Mr. X, but we've kind of given him also like a way across, which sucks. We can't do anything about it. Hello? Oh, I'm gonna take the gun out. It's the upper floor. Look at this crap. I said before I didn't think we'd get up here. Clearly we can. Dope. And still though, I ain't gonna run. Actually gives us a chance to uh, explore what we got, and I see that green herb. Let's get it. What are you doing here? Stop shouting, okay? Mr. X will hear ya. This dude's been dormant above here the whole time. Make the shot count. Nice and close. Here we go. There we are. Okay, sit down. Um, yeah, okay. Dude sound like a tap being turned off, you know, when the water still drains down. Do I take this thing? There is another one right here. Is that Mr. X moving? There's some movement underneath. Let me open this door here for now. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I think I can hear him. Okay, it's just this dude's feet. Dang, sound like Mr. X Mini. There you go. Head gun again. Look, this is why I love the shotgun. Oh, f Oh, he definitely hears the shots ringing out. Look at <laughs> Let me see. Uh, yeah, he's going the right way. Okay, we better hurry up then. We know he's already there. Okay, we've got a note here. Repair plan. Local police station west side clock tower. Due to a high cultural value of the bell, I'm calling a specialist in to make these repairs. We'll go over the details once they're on the scene, but in the meantime, I'll take steps to secure the bell since the yoke is threatening to break. Oh my god, he's coming though. Okay, this is where we use the crank. Use it nice and quick. Gosh, the music in the back is giving me anxiety. Okay. New staircase, even higher. And that's where the remaining part, I think, is for the uh, components. No, nope. but look, this is a dead end. This is real bad. Play it easy. Gotta make sure I can see Mr. X before I make a plan. Because if I go up that way and it's a one way, one way to death too, you know? No more zombies that way. Don't want to run as said before. It seemed like it was only when we shot that he actually knew where we was. Let's just take a look. Don't see him immediately. He definitely saw us as well. Yep. Okay, this is bad. Hit the safety lock on that. I think this leads us all the way around, if I'm correct. Okay, we'll back up here. Shut your mouth. Don't care. Okay, I'll take the blue herb just here. Nothing more on this side. And what's this here? Another large gear. Well, we've used it, so I don't know if we can take it after. Mm, I kind of feel like now we've got to run a loop. There's not really any other ways we can get around this thing. I mean, unless Mr. X has given up. Oh my god! <laughs> Look, I'm gonna need that back, okay, officer? Now I gotta take you down, all right? There you go. Now give me the knife, hurry up. I guess at least that's another zombie taken care of. Gotta see, like, the uh, lighter side to all this. Uh, all right, here we go. Hop down here. Simply make our rounds. I don't know if Mr. X can actually jump down here. Kinda wanna see. Let's find out. By the way, the soundproofing in this police station is crap, you know? I can hear everything. And he's gonna have no problem, isn't he? Um... Hell. It's actually a flank route. I mean, you can see that. I'm just glad it works in our favor. Thank goodness. Okay, hold up. Before we actually go running, is there any other ways? Uh, he could cut us up there, so uh, be quick about this. Nice. Sounds like there's more zombies as well. Yeah, those before. So we'll consider that, but okay, through the waiting room. That's a good flank route, though. It's almost like uh, in Resident Evil 7, where you could, like, drop down to the staircase and Jack Baker would turn back. Kind of the same thing, but for the tyrant dude. Which way is he coming back? Is he going along the top? I don't think he is. That must mean he's lost us. Let's get it. He's over there. He's still... Bro, back off. Honestly, find a new hobby. Okay, so key things I need to try and figure out about this tyrant. If we're out of his, like, range, will he know we're still here? Like, say, if we don't shoot or anything? Wait. He sounded so close. Okay, he's still making track. I gotta go. But if I stop running, open the door slowly, and chill. The music starts to go away. That's interesting. So, that's to take it back. Leave that there. I don't know if walking slowly is wise. If he seriously still knows we're here, man, I'm done. I have no idea. Oh, gosh. There's another slot for another gear. Of course there would be. That's fantastic. The staircase does lead up. Gosh, he knows we're here. This is insane. All right, hold up. This is like a corridor here. The door nice and slowly. Okay. The zombie's gonna bust on through any minute as well, by the way. This is really bad, man. Where even are we? At this point. I have no idea. This is a dead end? Hi. Wait, what is that thing? Hold up. Still gonna tread lightly? What is that? Uh, pills or something? Gunpowder large. That's interesting. Makes double the amount of ammo compared to regular gunpowder. That's really, really worth getting then. Hey, let's go, man. Anything else up here? No, that's it. Okay. Treading lightly is actually working out too, I think. Don't hear Mr. X anywhere nearby. So I can assume this is how we can deal with him. You know, try not to shoot your gun. If you don't see a zombie, then I guess you're good. And that's basically it. Wait. You're still gonna be careful. The door slowly. <sighs> I don't know, man. 
Sounds like he's cleared off. All right, let's get it. Yeah, we're going by foot. Oh, wait. If he knows I'm here, I'm going to be so mad. Like, I need this dude's hearing, you know? They equipped him with just about all the good stuff, and that's not good for me, by the way. So the bal is right there. I can see an item on the other side, but the bal is probably going to be raised for us to access it. Maybe there's something up here. Yeah, what is this? The small gear, so we can put that downstairs. All right, take that. Just make sure there's nothing more we need. Okay, I think that must be everything. Aha, looking at the box design, that's the second part as well, or the second component for the jail cell situation. And then we can leave the place? You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Did he open the door down here? Oh boy. Oh boy. Barely get any eyeline sights as well. Door is still closed up. Uh, all right, no point in like wasting time. In goes the gear. Now this is going to start making noise. Yeah, if he hears footsteps, he's going to hear that. So um, it's time to do this quick. Let's go. Okay, this large gear isn't moving still. Uh, all I can do is take it. Is there like a button? I press somewhere on the side. What about this ancient looking device here? So then we need the slot for the... Wait, wait, hold up. Do we need the larger gear for that? I'm really confused. Check around the other side. I think more we can do with it. Uh, wait, what? Put your finger in it? Like, start spinning it or something? I don't know. I don't know if it's trying to say there's a third one we need. Um, and if so, whereabouts would it be located? Somewhere around here? Because I highly doubt it by this point. So we can never take the small gear back. So that was a mandatory thing that we had to do. And if we take this out, because if we pause, we can always see the large gear saying it's like an item in place. Can we then relocate this thing? You see? If I take it, the staircase, is it going to go... It doesn't go... Oh, no. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay. Okay. I'm cornered. You know what? Let's just focus on getting this done. Whatever. Okay. Go over to this. Let's go. Hey, look at that. Perfect fit, too. And it's going to start turning. And that's how we can get everything moving. Yeah. Progression. All right. Look at this device, though. Just to lift the, like, bell a little bit. Oh. That's, um... That's really bad. Oh, my God. I need that component, though. Nicely landed there. I guess it works. But Mr. X is hearing, though? Yeah, he knows we're here. Hope I don't have okay. to write a report on this. <laughs> the last component right there. Boxed electronic part. We may as well go ahead and examine this and open the box, too, ahead of time. So let's do it. Okay, go ahead and slice this thing up. Looks like it's already done, in fact. Slip the component part out. A small electronic part. You bet. All right, man. Let me just double check over the map. I think that's basically everything done. You know, all now we got to do is head back to the jail cell. And that's all of the police station stuff done. Yeah. Suppose there is a few things we still need to figure out and uh, a few locations for the heart key, like the interrogation room, stuff like that. So we're still not done here. Okay. Obtain the electronic part. That's two objectives done. You hear the noise? Like a zombie screaming. The bell did chime. Wait. Are they outside? Like, I can hear them from up here. L listen, this museum that you probably bought for, like, billions, I got a suspicion these walls are made of paper, okay? You got ripped off. To back that up, you hear the footsteps, though? Let me just try and figure out, is he that side or the other side? Because I don't want to go, like, running into this dude face on, you know? I've had quite a few people tweeting me saying, like, they're running out of ammo with the game. Think about this, guys. You don't have to use your ammo always. Wait. But where is he? He's down there. Yo, Mr. X, I can pop your head like a hard-boiled egg right now. What is he doing? He's, like, stopped. Look at that. He's, like, patrolling the place. He doesn't know where we are. He has no idea. Or does he? He may have, uh, I mean, we've got like a big light shining in his face. Only really got one out for this. Just see which way he goes and then judge accordingly. Okay, yeah, worst way. I didn't want him to go that way. Yeah, here comes the music. He saw us. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so let me just try and figure this out first. I think we can open there. He's lost us again. You know, he's actually not that bad of a character. Like when you see him and he's chasing you down, then he is. But if you get like a rough control on him, Kind of like manage him, listen for the footsteps. It's not that bad. And you don't got to take him down that often to get around him. It's a really nice balanced character. So next thing I'm going to do, wait for him to come this way here. And I'm going to jump for it because he can't climb down. He's definitely coming up the staircase. Ooh, he's just through the wall there. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. All right, now let's go. <laughs> he just opened the door. Look at this. Okay, so all we got to do now, go ahead, cut through this way around the uh, right-hand side of the second floor. Oh, I think this one's the first floor. Then we can make our way down and uh, I guess get things moving. Actually, he might cut us up that way. And I don't think that does lead the way I want to go. We'll go the way we know. Yeah, this spot one. Hold up. Listen a sec. Don't think there's any new dead in here. I assume there was going to be. A little slowly. I mean, the bell did chime. I assume probably some more zombies have been drawn towards it. Uh, you're still trying to get through, even though, like, five foot to your left, there's another window. Wait. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He cut me up. He actually just cut me up. Are you kidding? Okay. Keep going. Oh, 
my god. Oh, you see the arms go through the doorway? Now, if he opens that door, it's fine. Wait. You know what? Script this, dude. I'm just gonna run. This is dumb. Let's go. Open, open, open. Okay, you're still dead. No copyright strike for you. Okay. I think I'm gonna go to the break room, though. I kind of want to save. Okay! Yeah. All right. Mr. X is the other side, so we've got some time here. Okay, land the head up. All right. See you later. Let's go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and save. Okay, that's still the barricaded one. We're good. We're good. Now I've been sat here five minutes, okay? If I make a step, so does Mr. X. So <laughs> I'm trying to, like, wait for the dude to go away a bit, but it's not happening. As I move, wait for it. Look, he's gonna match my footsteps. Wait for it. What'd I tell you? Move again. Okay, stand still. What is this dude's problem, okay? Ah, uh, you know what? F it. I don't know if Mr. X would come all the way down here anyway, because it is quite a distance. Like, I don't know if he's just simply patrolling the uh, police station. Guess we're gonna find out, though. Ah, we got this to deal with one more time, though, guys. I'm gonna tread carefully once again. Okay, pop the door open. Let's go. Easy does it now. Hold the corners for the dogs, because I ain't taking care of them. Save the ammo. There's not a dog still alive. No more. I think there's always a dog. Just down here. We peep the corner before seeing. Yeah, look at that dude growling for some dinner. Not happening today, fella. Catch you soon. Now, is there any more dogs here? I'm sure I took them all out. I want to double check. Yep, they're all laying in basically the same spot, so we're good. One thing, though, that's amazing about the demo is how it basically saves the exact location of every single zombie you take down, despite, like, I guess, saving and then reopening. They don't, like, despawn or anything. And why is there so much noise coming from behind here? Do I want to do this? Of course. Of course I do. There we go. All right, you still sleeping? Sleepyhead, wake up, let's get this done. Okay, stay down, run past you. Okay, still staying down. Concerning. I reckon behind closed doors, man, like this dude's moving, like when he sees us coming close, he's just, you know, he's just waiting for the right moment. Listen, bro, get ketchup, spill it all around you, then I'll believe you're dead. Okay, so for the circuit board, we'll place the last one in right here. There you go. Okay, now we gotta realign. I love puzzles like this. Like, they're so simple, but it's just good fun. Okay, where are we trying to restore power to? Looks like over the other side. Swap that one up there. Let's see. Okay, so we want to try and reorient stuff in a different way. Okay, swap that one up there. Then we can run that one across. Okay, so we got to get it going in like a straight line here. Okay, that illuminates. So we're running this one around. Is that saying there's something wrong? No, I was going to say. That's all good. All right. Pass solved. Woo! Is that all the other jail cells open, though? I'll check in just a sec. This is concerning, though. So that's where it came through. What's this here? Some kind of, like, memo? Ben's memo, okay? The station's swarming with monsters. Even here, I can hear their cries, but it's not the zombies I'm afraid of. Codename Tyrant. Aha, this is what I was talking about. I want to know this. The ultimate bioweapon developed by those bastards in the utmost secrecy. To think that thing might be wandering around here. Chances are they've ordered it to wipe out the witnesses. Me included, then, in that case. And what's in the toilet? What's behind here? First aid spray you stuck in that there? Thanks very much, Ben. Now, uh, look, we're just going to take the lanyard, all right? Don't tell me you can wake uh, back up. Huh? Wait, see if Wait, hold up. Plot yeah, twist? That doesn't explain the rumors about the orphanage. I, I just find it way too coincidental. Umbrella is one of the benefactors. That's where we're going next. The you orphanage. You told me this interview is about the new scholarship Umbrella set up. <laughs> Come on, Lynette. Nobody cares about that. They want to know about the G virus. Where did you hear about this? And a big fucking sinkhole in the city, which, by the way, rumor has it goes straight to your underground lab. Now, are you gonna talk to me, or are you gonna- The interview is over. Ooh, he busted through. He was getting the right answers. Damn. And then you can, like, read through all this. I'll skim through it quickly in case you didn't hear it. That's the entirety of that. There's the parking garage keycard. But guarantee going back on ourselves, obstacles inbound. Here we go. Listen. Hmm. What are they after? They're after a lot of things. And I get to the bottom of this together. You just examine this thing ahead of time. Nothing important on that. Okay, so it's just literally a parking permit, and it will serve its purpose. That's not good. Okay, I've only got the shot. You're down. Ooh, how many's there? What? Are you kidding? Bro, bro, bro. Okay, headshot. All right, he's done, I think. Oh, he's there he sat down! Woo! This way. That's still... Are you kidding me? Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Okay, I missed my shot. You gotta hold that knife permanently. Okay, shove him into them. Run, 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 run. Feel like I should have tried to run past them. This is gonna eat some ammo though, fierce. Okay, let's try and get a few of these, all right, with the magnum. Got enough bullets. Okay, that takes down two. Save the rest. So many though, come yeah. on, dude. All right, she fell over. Okay, trying to get through. Oh my God, of course. Taking over, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. 
This is why we got the first aid, though, after all, right, guys? You know? Oh, this guy's gonna back up a second. Hey, he's too down. I, I don't understand. Um, this is actually insane. Hold up. There we go. He's gonna miss. I sure hope we never have to come back here again. Is there any good stuff in the cells, though? I'm just gonna check. No! What the heck? Give me a break. There is nothing I can do. Are you kidding? Hold up. Gotta stun him. It just... What what am I supposed to do? I'm literally screwed. I am so screwed, man. I don't understand. I this Okay. This is insane. What the I I literally don't understand. This is crazy. Oh my goodness me. Oh no, just literally, bro. I, I, I don't have time for you. If there's some out here as well, okay, I quit the game. Okay, we're still good. Through the wall. We know how strong he's- what can we- Data! That's just holding him. That's like someone giving him a bear hug, all right? <laughs> Holy crap, this game is crazy. This is crazy. How do you take down Tyrant? Old. What? I Saving your ass, that's twice. I didn't realize you were keeping score. Look, this isn't a game. What is that? Time to go. Nothing dies down here. Oh. Woo! Alright, at least that's gonna smoke him up a bit. You know? It's definitely stops him, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this. I was hoping you could explain what's on it. Why would you give it to her? Maybe. After I hear it. Okay. Let's get out of here. Please. <laughs> that was designed to be chaotic, man. You know, that's why they gave you the first aid spray. How you would do that on hardcore mode, I have no idea. You would probably, like, go down first bite or first punch. Keycard goes in. Sounds good. This opens up. Let's leave this place. Still haven't found Rebecca, though, you know, in recent days. Uh, let me just check. Okay, nothing there as well. Never-ending rain. I'm seeking more items. Uh, yeah, we're too incompetent to duck. Green herb. Go with that. I think I took it. I think that said follow Ada. We pop the boot. Nah, oh, man. Alright. Dude, we're outside, though. What? I'm excited for this. You know? The police station's just a portion of the world. She's listening to the thing, by the way. Is that the intel you Bro, needed? Bro, I gotta go there. Unfortunately, no. I gotta go there. Ben didn't come through. Well, what exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. Okay, okay. What about Ooh. you? Trying to save the world? Kind I told of. Told Lieutenant Brenna I'd bring help. Good luck getting that. Hmm. True, true, true. This place is beautiful. What are we doing as a result? Is she going down there, or like? Bro, there is one way through. It's just to the Ken shop. This is gonna be awesome. I'm so excited for the encounter, man. I really am. Let me just see, where's Ada going first, though? I wanna go with her. Road's out. Mm-hmm. It took you that long going to figure to it out. Going to that gun shop looks like the only way. Oh, yeah. Woo! This is gonna be so fun. From the start, I've been wanting to experience this. Let's go, man. Okay, apparently she can only open doors. Just gotta pick the lock. Through. Definitely a lot more safer this time, Ken. You know, you ain't dying off the bat. Let's go, man. What a mess. Okay. Is there any ammo around here? I think she's just examining things, so we go off and do our own thing too. Okay. Let's see if we can find any ammo. It's a oh, freaking grenade. Let's go, man. Also, a long barrel. Okay, let's go. That's also going to attach to the shotty. Mm, let's go ahead and combine this right now. That's going to be more powerful too. And it's got eight shots in the round. Okay. See some handgun ammo there. This stuff is like gold as well. We never find this anymore. Five shots. Five shots more than I had, so I'm grateful. Let's check back here. Some. Here he I'm is. Not hurt you. I said, don't move. I'm just passing through. I'm gonna ask you to lower that weapon. I kill you. Are. You gotta turn around. Ooh, he's totally right back different character. Out the way you came in. He's got a daughter. Wait. I think your daughter needs help, sir. Oof. Tell me how to deal with my daughter. Drop it. This is insane. No! Wait! Step aside. We need to terminate her before she turns. Terminate. She's gonna bite him. Daughter. She's gonna bite him. 
Data. Just let them be. Emma? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. I don't think that's Emma anymore. Daddy? It is. Daddy's here. No, 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 no. Oof. Constant anxiety, not for me. Fucking things outside. What they did to us. You're a cop. You're supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? She was our sweet little angel. Mommy. Oh, man. Wait, what? I was sleeping, honey. Ah. Okay. So we know what happened to the mum or his um, wife. I was going to bed, too, okay? Um, wait, what? In what sense? Emma. Privacy. Dang, they really developed his character. You know, it's one thing to keep the truth from me, but why him? Don't do a second shot. I want to find out what's happening here and stop whoever's behind it. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the force. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. Okay. We may not make it out. Whatever it takes to save this city, count me in. Mm-hmm. Can add a bigger message then, you know? Just through his actions. <sighs> Crazy. Crazy. Can we, like, talk to him? I know it's kind of like a bad thing to do, but... We can't interact with the door. Definitely for the best. Something interesting to consider as well, guys, is that down the line, they're making something called the Ghost Survivors for this game. That's going to be some DLC. I think it's free, but regardless, I'm getting it. It talks about, like, the survivors of the town and the uh, trauma they go through, so you get to see even more aspects of the outbreak when it happened, how people managed, so that should be really cool. Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? Let's go. They're a pharmaceutical company secretly making bioweapons. Well, not so they secret now, huh? It turns people into indestructible monsters. As you see that. That explains the, the horrible things I've seen. Wow. All right. On the top of here we go. And this that's why I'm looking room. for Annette Birkin. She's the one at Umbrella responsible for unleashing the virus. Annette I'm going to bring Birkin. her down. As are we in that case, if that turns out to be true. They all got to go down. Whoever was responsible for this. Completely ruining Raccoon City. There's no going back now. The destruction has already been done. Hop down. Do the same thing. There you go. Oh, we're going through the sewers, man. Let's go. This is how we get to Annette. Oh, the Based on things, what yeah. you said, the sewer seems fitting. Oof. Well said. I don't know about Are that one, Chief. Gee. Well, thanks. No choice. Ugh. We're literally standing, guys, by the way, in excrement. I'm just letting you know. Can't imagine a real scientist being down here. According right. Just check. This leads right into Umbrella's secret facility. It's Come not on. very secret. Sewers are run by the city. Are you just seeing dudes in suits going down here? Without the yeah. authorities knowing. Let's just keep it up. Welcome to corporate America. Mm -hmm. Umbrella's controlled Raccoon City for years. Okay. Can't hear anything. Maybe some death grouse, but that's about it. Jesus. The freak. <laughs> that an earthquake? I sure Jeez, man. Hope so. uh, really? What the hell? Stay shot. God only knows what's down here. Bruh. Okay, I I'm done. I, I end the mission here. I'm out. Okay, we do have the gunpowder large already, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just make some standard pistol ammo, because I feel like we're gonna need something. If we're gonna fight that thing, it's gonna have a weakness somewhere, so we just gotta find it. Okay. Ready or not. Here I come. Oh, boy. I love how Ada's just waiting back as well, gonna let me deal with this crap. Or is she coming too? Okay, we might have to both deal with this. Okay, avoid those, man. I'm thinking like alien isolation here at the same time. Why is it gotta be so dark for you know? 
Okay, get up here. Let's go. Let's go. You can see it. Okay, there's some ammo there. Nice. Let's take it. Seven more shots. That's good. How many shots does that give us, actually? I think that's about nine. I think we got, like, 22 with the ammo. Yeah. So, 22. Again? That's the alligator, to right? Back, mm -mm. It no is. Chance. We're doing this. You're stuck with me to the end. Yeah, even if there is, like, 80 foot alligators, okay, Roman. Oh, man. Let's go. <sighs> We're in. Into the layout. Yeah, don't wipe your face you with sure the same this hand. this is the right way? No. Unfortunately. Oh, it is. She ain't coming that way. We should have waited before jumping down. Wait there. That's what we should have done. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. It's going to surface. God! Oh, God! You could say that? Leon! We got a problem. Get out of there! Oh, crap, bro. How? Just run? We surely can't take that thing down. Hey, keep him, keep him. Oh my god! Look at it! Holy crap, holy crap! Bro! Woo! Holy oh my shit! Yeah! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, that way, that way! Dodge! Oh, oh it is chomping down hard. Okay, dodge that way! Oh, you're gonna be very, very resilient towards us too, like a magnet! Okay, where are you coming next? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Which way? All right, time to move. Shoot the thing, shoot it. There you go. Hey, that big fella. He dead though? Um. Chew on that, you overgrown son of a bitch. Yeah, he's dead. Why did we find a grenade in the sewer? What the f what? Ada just casually walks on by. Go on, go ahead and drop this ladder for me. Come on. Yep, yeah, I know. First of all, just take that. <laughs> okay, in the process. That was important. I wonder how many we've missed of those, though. I feel like I've uh, been pretty precise so far with them. Actually, getting them all. Oof. Can't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, but we did it. You said the virus turned people into monsters, not reptiles. Everything turns, I guess. I'm just impressed you made it in one piece. Me too. How do I smell, by the way? Good. Oof. Here we go. This must be the uh, elevator down, correct? I guess so. The way's probably going to seal up. Go. So let me get this straight. Stand cool as well. Umbrella sells enough. monsters like that to who? Our military? Somebody else's? They don't sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. <laughs> and Annette is who makes the viruses. So they can do anything with them. Scary literally. as that alligator was. Annette is far more dangerous. Concerning. Okay. Let's do this. It's like a jail cell here. Look at this crap. Oh, save point. Uh, probably the best time, man. By the way, Ada, sorry for slamming the door in your face, but look, I just did something amazing, okay? All right, guys, we're going to end this episode here. That was probably one of the most intense ones yet. Actually, finishing off most of the stuff in the police station, not completely, because we got to go back. But I guess getting, like, most of the important stuff done, also encountering Ken, and then taking on the alligator. What an episode. After this as well, I think we're heading deep into the laboratory, so this might be, like, the final zone of this. But we're going to figure this out, man. I'm excited to experience this. Well, that's it as well, guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy this episode, and the next one should be here tomorrow. If you guys did enjoy this episode, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I, of course, hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.